Hi everybody, Ready? and welcome, welcome to a brand, brand new episode, episode of the Caffeinated, Caffeinated Critics. Critics. I'm Nick, and this is Declan. And today, we're going to be we're watching some amazing movie reviews, reviews from, from our amazing all students. From critics. Declan, are you excited? Can't wait to see what's it going to be like. Who's up first? Up first, we have David, with his, his review, review on the Barbie, Barbie movie. movie. Hi! My name is David! And today, I will be reviewing Barbie! Released on July 21st, 2023, about the movie, Barbie and Ken are having the time of their lives in the wonder, in the colorful, and perfect world of Barbie land. However, when they get a chance to go to the real world, they soon discover the joys and downfalls of living among humans. Who's in the movie? Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, America Vieira. My thoughts on the movie. I loved it. Warner Brothers did a great job putting the beloved doll by Mattel on the big screen. My favorite scene in the movie is one evening at a dance party barbie is suddenly stricken with worries about mortality overnight she develops bad breath and flat feet weird barbie tells barbie to find the child playing with her in the real world to fix her problems barbie decides to follow the advice and travel to the real world with ken joining Barbie by stowing away in her convertible. I loved Will Ferrell in this movie. He played the CEO of Mattel and orders their recapture. I even did love the song, I'm Just Ken. That is my favorite song in the movie. If you're a big fan of Barbies, I highly recommend this movie to watch with your friends and everyone. Barbie is now streaming on Max. I give this movie two thumbs up and 10 pink stars. What a great movie. This is David from the Caffeinated Critic signing off. David, amazing review as always. Up next, we have Calvin with his review of Paul Blart Mall Cop. Okay, hi everybody, my name is Calvin. I'm here to talk about the movie. Uh, I'm going to talk about the movie. Paul Blart Mall Cop by Kevin James. It's all about when Paul Blart, who's a mall cop, and ch check to see if everybody's okay and stop the bad guys. What did I like about the movie is, is, uh, is a, when robbers take over the mall and and then Paul Blart, Paul Blart tries to fight, fight fight back and and and, and, and take them out out and also. And also, Paul Blart tries to, try, tries to make to make, make everything very good. He tries to make sure everybody's safe. And I think this movie is cool. I'm gonna give, 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 it, give it three out out of five gold stars. This is Calvin from the Caffeinated, <laughs> Caffeinated Critics. Signing off. Wow, Calvin, that was already one of my favorite reviews. Up next, we have Jason with his review of the original Mean Girls. Greetings, everyone. This is Jason Naughton of the Caffeinated Critics with a new movie review. This time, it was it's a movie that was released on Friday, April 30th, 2004. And that movie is the original Mean Girls. Who's in the movie? Lindsay Lohan, Rachel McAdams, Amanda Seyfried, and Lacey Chabert. About the movie, there is this girl, Katie, who moved to the US from Africa with their parents and braves her way through North Shore High School. There, she finds new people, meaning teachers, staff, and students. Also, during lunch, Katie meets the Plastics, Gretchen, Karen, and their leader, Regina, and Katie thinks that she should join them only if she follows the rules of the Plastics. Katie thought high school was easy, but difficult later in the movie. We all know that starting at a new school is difficult to some people, but it's nice to others. They've got cliques, groups, classes, and the best faculty that can aid you through any problems. Believe me, it is so fetch. If you are a fan of the original Mean Girls, and if you really are, I highly recommend this movie to your 
friends. This movie, along with its remake, is currently now is like currently now streaming on Paramount Plus and other streaming platforms, DVD, Blu-ray, and now for the first time on Fetch 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. I like give this movie like 10 out of 10 plastic gold stars. Thank you for watching everyone. This is Jason Nunn of the Kevin A Critic signing off. Wow, Jason, that was one of your best reviews yet. Up next, we have Ryan with his review of the original Little Mermaid. What's going on, everybody? We've got Ryan back here for the Caffeinated Critics, and this week he's going to be reviewing the original Little Mermaid movie. You excited? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so I hear that you think that the remake is actually better than this one. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a really interesting take. I like it. Now, for this movie, did you really enjoy the animation? Mm -hmm. You think it's like really pretty animation? Awesome. And do you like Ariel? Is that your favorite character? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, do you think the movie is like super funny? Mm -hmm. Do you like Sebastian the Crab? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you, did you really like all the music in the movie and you know all the songs that are in it? Yeah. Nice. Now, would you say this is one of your like top five favorite Disney movies? Yeah, top five Disney top, movies. Top five, okay, that's that's a big piece of news right there. Nice. Now, out of, now, out of five mermaids, nice. what would you give this movie? Five mermaids. He's given this five mermaids. So you heard it here, folks. He's giving it five out of five, five mermaids. That is absolutely unreal. This has been Ryan from the Caffeinated Critics. You yeah. want to sign off? Yeah. Yeah. Give a little wave bye. There you go. See you next time, guys. Ryan, I love the original Little Mermaid. What a great choice. Up next, we have yours truly with his review on the original Aladdin. Hi, I'm Nick. And today, I'm reviewing a Disney film released on November 11th, 1992, and that is Aladdin. The m movie follows Aladdin, an Arabian street urchin who finds a magic lamp containing a genie. With the genie's help, Aladdin disguises as a rich prince and tries to impress the Sultan of Agrabah to win the heart of his independent daughter, Princess Jasmine, as the Sultan's evil advisor, Jafar, plots to steal the magic lamp. The cast of this movie includes people such as Scott Winder as Aladdin, Robin Williams as the genie, Linda Larkin as Jasmine, and Jonathan Freeman as Jafar. I thought this was an amazing Disney film based on the fairy tale of the same name. My favorite character in the movie was the genie because he was very funny. I also thought Robin Williams was the best when he voiced him. My favorite songs in the movie were Friend Like Me and A Whole New World. I also really loved the love story between Aladdin and Jasmine. I give this movie five out of five magic carpets. The only wish I have is to see again for the first time. Thank you for watching my review. This is Nick of the Captain Critics signing off. And, and now, now it's time, time for our Did You Know segment, segment where, where we give, give you fun facts about movies. Did you know that one of the best actresses out there, in my opinion, is Idina Menzel? Because she did a great job voicing Elsa in Frozen and for singing the song Let It Go. Did you know my favorite two actresses are Julia Roberts and Julie Andrews. One, Julia Roberts was in Pretty Woman. Two, Julie Andrews was in Mary Poppins, Sound of Music, and The Princess Diary movies. Did you know that my favorite movie actress is Kirsten Dunst? She starred in movies such as Spider-Man, Bring It On, and Jumanji. Did you know my favorite actress is Anne Hathaway? I love her. And, and now, now it's time, time for our question, question of, of the week. week. Are, are movies still awesome? Jason, are, are movies still awesome? awesome? Yes, I think movies are still awesome as Kirsten Dunst. Wow, that was an amazing episode of Captain A Critics. What did you think, Declan? Unbelievable. I think it's great that Ryan, Calvin, and Alex are part of it now. Thank you for watching this, this brand new episode of Caffeinated Critics. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.